Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, uh, thanks for clicking. So, hold on. I think the volume might be a bit loud. Yeah. Okay, that seems better. All right. I'm going to be checking out the demo for Anton Blast today. Uh, what is Anton Blast? Well, you'll see. For those that aren't aware. It's uh, quite simply a Wario adjacent game. So, I've been keeping an eye on this one. It, it's something that I will definitely play once it's out. Because you know how I like my Wario games. And Nintendo is not giving Wario any love. So, it's good to see a bunch of indie devs just giving me my Wario fill. So, I mean, yeah, this feels like a Game Boy Advance game, which is pretty good. I mean, visually, not completely. Hold attack mid to do a hammer spin. Hang on. I like that. Yeah, I've been doing that. But yeah, I mean, this, this is its own thing. It won't be quite the same as Pizza Tower, but... It shares similarities with Wario, so... Including a, like, kind of gruffy-looking character. Oh, okay. Nitro Crates. I say you can't slide through bricks, you'll need a more powerful move for that. Yeah, the boosting's kind of like Crash Team Racing boosting, which I have not done in a very long time. Oh man, I, not many games do this, jumping into the foreground thing. Abe's Odyssey does it, um, background and foreground I should say. I think even the Wario land on the, um, the Virtual Boy, I believe, did that, so that's neat. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Right, so unlike Peace of Tower, this has health that I need to be uh, wary of. There we go. Okay, there's a lot of screen shaking. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that down. That's more than I like. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think having I mean, the effect there is good, it's just... It's a bit strong, in my opinion. For my personal tastes. Hold down the hammer to go in the man hole. Okay. I want. Oh, there are secret walls. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> or I guess this dude would have a deeper voice. Okay. Yes. 
Uh, this is not Wario at all. Just some different character, Anton. Time to fuck. <laughs> oh man. I can't help myself, I really can't. Also, this straight up looks like Virtual Boy with this color palette. Oh, yes! Ha ha! Alright, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure this dude has his own identity and sounds nothing like Warrior. Oh, damn it. But you know, if you need a voice actor, whilst I have not done voice acting before, I point you to my stream or just various examples where I'll do, oh yes. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, my worry impression is not quite like Charles's one, but eh, people enjoy it. Oh my God, hang on, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm using the Xbox controller, so D-pad. Don't like it as much on here. Oh, I want the gem. Okay, no, it's a poker chip, I guess. Alright. Hey. There we go. Oh, yes. The tall station. I think it's a checkpoint. There's no up move, I noticed. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I see. And now this should be accessible. I'm still getting used to using the hammer to uh, climb up walls. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yes! Uh, and then... I guess go through here again. So far, everything feels pretty flawed. But it's been uh, quite a long time since the last Warrior game. Like, it was on the Wii. But we don't take uh, WarioWare into account because it's a different game, but... Been missing the series. This will be a nice thing to uh, play more of this sort of stuff. It's also reminding me that uh, I need to play Warrior Land 3 and 4 at some point. Precious Spirit Satan won't be happy about this. Yeah, no, we don't want to touch the Nitro. Satan won't be happy about this. Uh -oh. 
There we go. Getting the hang of it. Okay, it looks like this. There's three doors. further back. Maybe there's a way back to that previous room. Get in. Oh yes! Time to go! Oh shit. Okay, no, I got I gotta get rid of the pizza towel mentality. Um also still a timer. It is it is not like pizza towel. Where I can keep hurting the character. Dude, you're in my way. You're visually in my way. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay! Time to go! have that. Okay, I notice that you can't climb the ladder when you're in the air. A little bit of a bummer that you have to be on the ground level to use it. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I fell. Oh shit, not good. That was bad. Okay, look, my platforming is not up to scratch today. Plus, there must, there's also a mild pizza tower bad habit right now. not good. That's gonna waste a lot of time. Okay. What else I would imagine comes down to practice. stage. 
Yeah, the nitro box is uh, a bit of a liability. Uh. Oh, I have to stay alive to get the, the spirit. All right, let's try Annie. Newer, harder stage, all right. Yeah, that's gonna get me more than a few times, I think. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's something that I'm gonna have to get used to. It does gotta go fast and then being punished for it. Miss inputs from the, the, the stay pad. I just got lazy and didn't want to resync my Super Nintendo controller. But it'd probably be going a bit better for me. Yeah, I thought for sure there'd be something up there. more disastrous. I wonder if there's a way to heal. Oops. Oh, what the heck? What was that thing there? I fell down. Oh. That's annoying. I find this hammer jump thing to be a bit, a bit tricky to control sometimes. But dude, I just find myself overshooting constantly. Ah. Or oh, doing that, or I'm just not. I'm like accidentally doing it. Okay, you can heal. This just looks like it's only available in certain spots. I 
I just, I find myself overshooting stuff constantly. I just gotta get used to it a bit more. This comes from someone that hasn't played Warrior Land before, I should point out. So maybe this feels more like Warrior Land 4 does. There are times where I have pretty fluid movements from one screen to the next, but then there are other times where it's just... Man, I'm struggling to adjust. Okay, like here. Here, for instance. Or something there. Okay, here. There we go. <laughs> That's fun. I think you should be able to jump on the ladder and grab it. Seems a bit weird that you have to start from the bottom to grab a ladder. Just, just the thought. This is just from... I play a lot of Mega Man, or played a lot of Mega Man. And being able to jump and grab a ladder at any height, that's, I guess, something that I inherently do in platformers. What the? There's nothing there. I may have uh, gone too far back. So, what? Oh, idiot. It's a foreground jump.
Okay, there we go. Well, now the whole down attack was up. I didn't hold the attack. There we go. Yeah, it's neat to see that there's sort of power-up type things. Nice. There we go. Shot it. Oh boy, this is bearing blocks. So that's interesting. That ladder allows you to go from mid. Almost fell for it again. I figured it'd be something like that. Let's try it again.
Okay, let me just... Oh, no, you can grab the ladder. Okay. My bad. I don't know why I couldn't grab it before. Weird. Anyway. I'll chop that up to my bad. has to be in a rush. I don't know why, I, just, I feel the pressure to speed through this. Trick shot. Oh, that, yeah. I'm noticing is you have to use the hammer jump almost everywhere. Like almost everything is basically a double jump to get the height you need. At least in this stage. for instance. Looks like it's an exit only. What?
Yeah, I'm shooting. It's so easy to do it. Ah, come on. Disappearing block stuff taken to a whole new level. Jeez. Oh, uh, no. Okay, stop. Not enough. Oh. There we go. Oh. It's a bit of a struggle to get up there. I need health. Ah, the little grass things. Okay. Now I see what it is. They weren't so obvious. Until now. That explains that. All four. Ah. But I don't think I have to redo it, do I? I may have to redo it. Yeah, I have to redo it. Let's try. for uh, going fast sometimes. Okay, never mind. 
That was more to say here. Oof, that is tough. I do like the background foreground thing. Cause that had to be different. Uh, I probably shouldn't go have gone here. My bad. I figure I'm going the right way. I gotta get used to the the drifting. Jeez, that was close. Come on. 
can't go through that. Oh no, no, I have to go through that. It has to be like a... Dude. Almost there. Holy shit, I forgot just how long the stage is. Yeah. I guess I didn't do it quick enough, huh? Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> oh, that's that's gonna cost me. Yeah, I can't... Okay. Sometimes it just feels like I can't climb that ladder from midair. Hey, okay, what's the game? Uh, it's called Anton Blast. It's so easy to do that. I think I just need to walk it. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, I think I have a bit more hype this time. Finding myself having a hard time to control between running and doing the jump thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I was way further ahead before. Oh no, I made it. Okay. Yeah, that was close. Alright, uh, yeah, that was it. It's a relatively short demo, so I just wanted to check it out because... I have heard a lot about it, and this new demo had a second stage, so I figured it was worth checking out. I mean, I like it. The visuals and everything, it's highly reminiscent of uh, the Game Boy Advance, and not to mention Warrior Land. I'll probably check it out when it releases. Maybe a bit after, we'll see. Uh, thoughts on it? I think it plays well. There's just a couple of things that I think I need to get used to. Um, and that's just how you move from dashing, because it's encouraging you to dash and move quickly, but also using the hammer to kind of jump around. Which if I had any feedback to give, I feel like, particularly that last stage I played, I, I think there was a lot of the times where practically every jump involved uh, the hammer jump, and I felt like I was overshooting it quite a bit. That might be something that I'll get used to over time, but it definitely felt a little jarring. Just at the surface level, I'm sure it'll be fine, and I'll enjoy the game overall. It's not going to say that it's a big thing for me, but it's something I certainly noticed. That and the screen shaking, the default setting, I thought it was a bit much could be uh, toned down just a little. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching this later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the quick look at uh, Anton Blast. And uh, if you want to see more of it in future, let me know in the comments or do the algorithm button pressing thing as it lets me know people want to see this. All right, take care, YouTube.